Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Jake Axel, and today I was going to talk to you guys about ocean life. Well, I talked to a few teachers about this, and turns out I'm not really known to be talking about the ocean, apparently. Um, I talked to them, and they considered me to talk about my job. So, today I want to talk to you guys about Hooters. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've worked at Hooters for probably two years now. Uh, uh, today I want to talk to you guys about my job, uh, Hooters history a little bit, uh, the, types of, the types of customers we get, and the types of waitresses. Uh, Hooters was open on October 4th, 1983. And I was trying to do some more research on the Hooters website, but on my Chrome, it's blocked apparently. <laughs> I don't know why. It's a family restaurant. <laughs> um, it's also a sports bar, and uh, I think it just might be uh, blocked because all the waitresses are girls, I guess. I'm not really sure why it's blocked. But Hooters is best known for its burgers and wings. Now, I want to talk to you guys about my job. My job isn't like any other guy's job there. I'm not a cook, I'm not a manager, you know. I'm a host, so I'm up front and center. Uh, I, I got to seat people, uh, I'm a bus boy, I got to clean tables. And by the way, I, I'm the only host there. Like, there's no other host. And I'm the only bus boy. So I, I'm like running back and forth, running everywhere, all around. Uh, the restaurant cleaning tables. And then sometimes I'm a part time janitor, I guess. Sometimes <laughs> I can't kind of bomb it and stuff. It's not really pretty. So sometimes I think I'm kind of underpaid. <laughs> and I haven't had a raise in two years. I never got a raise. So I'm too scared to ask. So I want to talk to you guys about the type of customer we get. There's the big tippers, you know, that tip way more than 20%. Okay. And that's just spoiling these girls, which <laughs> I guess it gets it gets them attention. I guess you know, uh, it, like seriously, uh, we'll get one big tipper that comes in. The girls will not like attend to their tables because they're just trying to suck money off this guy. It's just crazy. And then we have the betters, which is pretty good for uh, scooters because we have all these TVs. Uh, they, uh, the betters come in, they bet they bet on their games. And then uh, they get watched to see if they win money or lose money, which I kind of wish they would win money, obviously. Um, uh, we got the regulars, right? And then we get bachelor parties. Bachelor parties are crazy. That's where my janitor, my janitor job really comes in because they'll kind of get a little tipsy, go to the bathroom, miss the toilet, and I got to go in and finish the job. <laughs> and then we got the creepers. I'm not a fan of these guys, okay? They're pretty weird. So we'll have a guy come in, he'll be like, hey, is Nicole working? I'm like, yeah. He's like, can I sit in a section? I'm like, yeah, of course, man. And so I'll see him in her section. And she's like, oh my God, Jake. Why'd you sit see him in my section? I'm like, because you're working. That's my job. I'm the host. You know, I gotta do that. And I'm sorry, but but and let me not, let me tell you that these guys will seriously stay in their section until they have to leave. And then it, it's it's insane. We even have a guy that comes all the way from Des Moines to go to Council Bluffs Hooters. And it's like, why, dude? Like <laughs> and then I got this is like a crazy story about my sister. Oh, yeah, by the way, my sister works there too. So she, she's the reason why I pretty much got the job. And then, so my sister clocked off work, right? She was on her way home. And then it wasn't until that she got home that one of her customers followed her to our house. I guess she just flipped out on him. And the guy never sits in her section anymore. And now he's creeping on someone else. Uh, now I want to talk to girls, well, people, about the time of waitress. I'm sorry. 
Uh, we have the nice girls, which is probably about five of them. You know, they're pretty nice. Sweet to me, anyways. Uh, then we got the mean girls, which will just be backstabbers, just talk smack on everything. Like, I don't know why. Like, why are those girls so <laughs> And then we got the moody girls. The moody girls, which are on Sundays, which I found. Because I work Saturdays and Sundays pretty much. Uh, depends on which uh, sports season it is. And so these moody girls, I'll, I'll come in at 12 o'clock, right? And then they'll be like, oh, my God, Jay, I'm so glad you're here. You're awesome. I'm ready to make so much money. I'm like, all right, cool. We're going to have a good day. And then shift change happens at 4 o'clock. And then when 3 o'clock hits or 3.30, they're like, hey, Jay, uh, don't see me. I'm like, don't you want to make money? Like, I made enough. I'm like, no. No, I know what you're doing. Like, you don't want any more tables. So when four o'clock hits, you can just gag it. Sorry, that's not how that works. Anyways, so I guess I'm like the boss of them, technically. And then, <laughs> so to recap about Hooters, we talked about a little bit of Hooters uh, history. Uh, we talked about my job, what I do. Um, we talked about the types, the types of customers and waitresses that we have. So thank you guys for coming to Hooters, and I hope to see you soon. <laughs>